Hi everyone, it's a guy here, the unknown. Okay, and today I want us to look at five important things. Okay, five mm, important things. Okay, that will actually help you in your trading career. Okay, and it's very important. It will help you in maintaining your consistency. If you are not consistent yet, it will help you become consistent. Okay, so this is crucial. Okay, very very important. I repeat, crucial. Okay, so uh, yesterday we made a video and we spoke about uh, uh, actually having an a plus setup okay and we actually went deeper into that okay but for those who missed it i will say okay an a plus setup is a setup that you understand a setup that has been working for you okay okay because there's a lot of setups out there and you don't have to know every setup out there okay just master the one setup that has been working for you thus far okay and really really try to actually uh, know it just like you know your mobile device or just like you know yourself okay uh, what I'm trying to say is you must be good in it okay make sure you must that you have as many screenshot where uh, that setup appeared in a perfect way as outlined in your plan okay if you don't have a trading plan I have a video where we went through uh, actually creating a one and I also gave you a template for free okay so you can just go and search for a video on a on, on, on how to create your trading plan okay so right now I want you to focus on your strength because it's always wise to build up on your strength okay you are the only person who knows your strength and you know your weaknesses so it's highly 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 wise to work on your strength okay I'm not saying disregard your weaknesses no I'm not saying that at all but it's wiser to build on your strength and be really good in what you do good okay okay be the best in what you are good in okay so go and get your setup that has been working for you a setup that you understand work on it okay understand it just understand it like you understand or know your mobile device okay make sure you are good in it okay you are good always be the best in what you do so go and understand that setup okay and be good uh, on that setup okay and once you have attained this goal okay okay and i believe it's gonna take some time for those who haven't started okay but it's it's not supposed to take a long time provided you give it your all and you invest enough time into understanding that setup okay the more time you spend on your charts the more you'll understand it okay so once you've attained this goal okay uh one thing you should be able to do is uh trade it like an algorithm okay i just or i'm just gonna open here this page that defines what an, an algorithm is and let's just read through an algorithm is a process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations especially by a computer okay fine in other words an algorithm uh, uh follows rules okay like for instance, we all know that an algorithm follows codes, okay? It follows codes. It only does what the codes are instructed to do, okay? Hence why most people uh, use algorithms more than uh, people because people tend to, to be ignorant uh, somewhere or they actually have uh, strength and weaknesses, okay? So uh, to optimize whatever, uh, that companies are trying to produce or whatsoever it is they use our logarithms because our logarithms will follow the rules 100% okay okay as long as you have told them to do this if this happens then they will follow that 100% okay so with that said you must be able to actually trade your A plus setup as an algorithm and what I mean is uh, whenever that setup appears, take it without fear or uh, being overconfident, okay? I know now we are jumping into emotional and all sort of psychology things, okay? But uh, I'm not going to go deeper into that right now because I want this one to be uh, short. So what I can say is come to our playlist here and start here we have this uh, playlist called start here and if you go into it there is this uh, video call said forex truth okay this is the one where we went deeper into 
into psychology and i wish all of you watch it because it's the most important out of every other video that i've ever posted okay or any that i will ever post the most important one is this one said uh forex tooth okay that's the most important one i just wish you can all watch it okay so yeah it's the one that made me like understand everything and it was actually uh, my turning point actually in honest uh being honest okay so once you're able to uh trade like an algorithm you take your setup without fear or being overconfident why because it's easy say for instance you lost 10 trades in a row okay you might start developing fear and then you'll start questioning yourself okay is this the is this an idle setup is it good should i take it or not okay don't do that because by the time you feel comfortable taking it it might be a little too late okay so you don't have to second guess yes you can lose 10 in a row and i'm gonna explain this in detail in a moment and say for instance sometimes you can win 10 uh trades consecutively and you will feel like oh now i've i've i've, 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 I've figured out the markets okay and you risk 90 percent of your account okay and because now you want bigger returns you are more confident you're actually overconfident so that's a huge problem because there's an even distribution between losses and wins okay so that means you don't know which particular uh, uh, position you're open will end up being a loss or a win okay so what i'm trying to do i want you to think and behave like a uh, a professional guy okay because there is a huge distinction between professional guys and retail guys hence we know that 90 percent of retail guys are actually losing and only 10 percent or even less than this are actually winning to confirm this go to any broker at the footer they are required to publish these statistics okay so every broker at the footer will have these statistics they will actually tell you that on our platform 95 per, uh, percent of people are actually losing and that is reality why because there is this distinction between uh, professional guys and retail guys okay we'll talk about that uh, later okay so uh you don't have to be overconfident and you don't have to execute with fear hence i'm saying uh acquire the skill to actually become an algorithm this is highly important why because it doesn't matter if an algorithm is gonna lose 10 in a row it is still gonna execute the same thing the next time it appears okay okay hence you find that um there are hedge funds that are highly profitable and they are all actually using systems okay they're actually using systems instead of uh, real uh, people why because uh systems don't have emotions okay and if you go and watch uh the video that i just showed you now you're gonna understand more on that okay so uh you must be able to execute the same thing over and over and over again okay this is where things become a little bit interesting why because once you have mastered your setup then everything is simple it's just a matter of rinsing and repeating why because now you are taking one thing day in day out day in day out it's only one thing okay the hardest part actually is like uh discovering or figuring for figuring out your setup and actually uh becoming confident to take it over and over again okay why am i saying becoming a logarithm now we are on part three okay i don't want this to be a uh, long 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 okay now i'll try that so now your win rate will come in handy uh combined with your risk reward ratio and what i mean is say for instance you have a 50 percent win rate okay win rate okay and a risk reward of one is to five I always want to be realistic i'm not gonna say try one is 200 no 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 that's being uh naive okay yes that's being naive and actually that is unrealistic okay you can't say one is 200 that's unrealistic okay you must be realistic okay now say maybe you have a risk reward ratio of one is to five and a win rate of 50. what does this mean we spoke about this before but for those who haven't watched those who are new okay we're just gonna say this a win rate of 50 simply means out of 100 you actually gonna win 50 and you're gonna lose 50 okay and it might seem as if you are doing nothing okay it might seem as if you are breaking even or for 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 for, for a normal business person this 
might seem like okay now you are just breaking even besides uh, the spread and whatsoever beat and ask price and yeah that means you will be in a loss no 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 don't think like that okay why because we spoke about something called a risk reward ratio remember if say for instance now you're risking one dollar to make five dollars okay five dollars okay you're risking one to make five and then you lose 50 okay this means here you lost fifty dollars okay so don't mind my handwriting because i'm using my mouse okay uh okay don't worry don't worry soon i'll be buying a pad okay it's just that uh, i was looking for it and it took me time to find the one that i'm actually looking for and i want to order it okay so don't worry don't mind my handwriting okay so and then now let's say for instance uh you want roughly 50 now it means here you lost fifty dollars and here you made two hundred and fifty dollars okay okay why because you risk one to make five every win will give you five times your risk okay so you made 250 out of 100 trades okay yes and then now when we subtract the 50 now you have 200 okay this is what you have 200 okay so you can see that in the long term you are slowly 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 building up your account in a consistent way because it's not about one trade per se okay as people will advertise it or the way it's portrayed out there okay there's a huge misconception and i just wish everybody uh gets clarity okay or gets to know the truth because there's a lot a lot of misconception people are buying lifestyles actually people are saying lifestyles to sell courses or whatsoever it is mentorship or whatsoever it is and i'm not saying mentorships are wrong i'm not saying courses are wrong all i'm saying is that there is a huge misconception that people buy into okay but we are trying or we are actually being realistic right here right now okay because you must be real okay or else you're gonna get uh, you're going to start with high expectations and when those expectations actually fail, then you're going to end up being frustrated and calling this thing a scam. Okay, we won't blame you because you didn't uh, you, you, you didn't come with your realistic expectations. You came through or you were chasing the lifestyle that was sold. Okay, so with that said, let's continue. Now, say for instance, yes, now you have this 200 okay so now you decide okay fine now i'm increasing my lots okay because uh these results that i've given here uh it's when you are using the the smallest lot size of 0 0.1 okay the smallest lot size of 0 0.1 so now what you're gonna do is okay now you can say okay you have 200 okay now you can say now i'm increasing my lot to 0. 03 just as an example okay and again now it will depend on your risk uh appetite okay you somebody can say okay now i have 200 so i'm risking uh okay i'm taking a lot of 0 0.05 okay which simply means if you are still following this then you will be actually risking uh let's say five dollars to make uh 25 dollars $25 provided you're still following the same risk reward uh, ratio okay now you can see tell me after your next 100 trades how much will you make okay let's pull out a calculator these are easy calculations but I don't want to crack my brain anyway okay I don't want to be smart in anything okay because I don't uh, encourage a, any trader to try to be smart no it's not trying to be smart okay it's about doing the easiest thing and i'm gonna I'm explain why in a moment okay so let's see uh now let's say it's gonna be five times uh 50 okay and then okay now you're gonna have uh 250 which is actually your loss now okay this is your loss and you're gonna actually make uh let's see now it's 25 by 50 okay uh 25 by 50 now you see out of your next 100 this is what you have okay uh this is what you have and that's when you can now decide that okay now i'm increasing my lot to 0 0.1 you see 0 0.1 because now you have a thousand a thousand dollar okay because now we are taking out this two 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 fifty 250 because it's it, it it was part of the loss okay so fine 
as you can see now you are increasing which means if you are still following the same risk reward ratio which is realistic okay and besides this is the one i always follow okay is it always going to give you this no sometimes it will give you uh one is to three okay it depends on what it's giving on the given day because uh it's not going to move the way you expect it to move on a daily uh, basis what i mean is the pairs are not going to move the way you anticipate them or the way you projected them each and every day okay sometimes they won't have that much volatility we know that the markets are rushing to anyway they are patient and if you are not patient i don't know okay so now you are using 0 0.1 so that means uh again it depends on uh, on 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 the pips you are uh, you are risking in my example i'm risking 10 pips per per per, per position okay to get these results okay i'm risking 10 to make 50 okay okay this in this example i want you to understand okay i'm using 10 to make 50 the hands i'm said if you hence i said if you are uh risking uh one dollar to make five dollar this is what i'm using okay say for instance i know the spread and whatsoever okay so for instance okay uh now you are using 0 0.1 now this tells you that okay now you are risking 50 to actually make two 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 fifty okay uh, and this is in terms of dollars okay and now if we bring our calculators i'm just trying to give you a picture because now uh, there are spreads and we can't uh, include the spreads in our calculations because different brokers actually will have different spreads so this is just an overview of the calculations and just to show uh, how you will grow uh, uh, or how you will actually compound your earnings okay because it's all about com uh, compounding 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 okay it's not about one per se because if you gonna want to get uh, a thousand in one then in only one uh, trade that means you you might over risk and if it's negative then i don't know okay it might be the end because your emotions are not gonna play with you okay so now let's say now you are risking uh 50 that's 50 by 50 okay i'm just showing okay you see this is uh 2.5 but based on how you are growing okay based on how you're growing normally you will increase uh, uh slowly 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 or uh let i'm not i don't mean slowly i mean you will ex uh, you will actually increase um uh, lot sides uh consistently but i don't I'm not saying maybe you'll jump from 0 0.5 to 1. No, no, no. Okay. Maybe you'll go to 0 0.7, something like that. Okay. I'm just showing you that over a long period of time, that's how it works. And say now, for instance, you you are you are making 250. Uh, and now we multiply it by 50. Okay. You uh okay, I made a mistake, but it's fine, okay. It's 250 by 50, right? Yes. You see this is how you are growing slowly 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 you are growing your way up okay this is one of the reasons i really really don't um, advise uh, newbies to jump into uh what we call this companies prop firms okay because yes prop firms might give you a lot of capital and if you are not ready you, you it, it will be hard to grow because you must grow your way up remember as you are growing uh slowly you are actually gaining experience okay and most people are trying to optimize returns it's not about optimizing returns it's not about to getting things quick okay yes if it works for you it's fine but what i personally believe is as you grow slowly 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 you are actually gaining experience along the way and you have the rest of your life to do this thing okay so this is why i'm saying yeah, personally i don't believe in uh doing things quick or whatsoever hence i i i i strongly don't uh recommend prop firms to people who are still starting yes if you have experience and you know what you're doing you can go for prop firms that is good okay because i'll tell you one thing uh prop firms are creating a poor traders why am i saying this because now a person has five accounts right and then they will risk uh 
uh, they will risk maybe three accounts. They don't mind. They can lose three accounts. Okay. Now, if they win, it's going to be very big returns. But if they lose, they're going to lose these three accounts. They still have two accounts as backup. Okay. So now it's like a huge gamble. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I've seen. Okay. That's what I've seen so far, okay? Because most of the guys who use problems uh, do not build a track record. It's about a track record, okay? You can as well get uh, private funds if you are good, okay? If you have a track record. Because you are not sure. Nobody's sure if prop firms will exist in the long term. Okay. Yes, now regulations are jumping in because their model is so is so bad. Okay. They've built a business on a model that actually gives them return when uh when those buying challenges fail. Okay. Because they don't even place your order on the real market. They are just using simulations. Okay. So you can see how bad it is. And they'll use a lot of, 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 of spreads or a lot of slippage. Okay. That's what they are known for. Most of them are known for that. Yes, there are a couple of good ones, but most of them are not regulated and regulations might jump in at any point. So if you rely heavily on prop firms and you are not actually gaining experience or growing your way up, it might be or you might have a big problem in the long run run so it's better to do the work right now whilst you still have time okay so what i'm saying is now your risk reward is what will come in handy okay to save you so you have your setup you are taking the same thing day in day out so basically uh your only responsibility is to search for your setup to hunt for your setup that's the only job you have hence the title of yesterday's video okay the, uh, your only job as a trader that's what we posted yesterday okay so that's the only job you have to hunt 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 and find your setup every time it's presented become an an, an, an algorithm okay execute it without fear or being overconfident being over uh, being overconfident simply means uh, if you're overconfident you're gonna risk more okay risk a lot and if you lose it it's gonna be bad but once you have one setup one thing you should be you will be actually be able to do is you will be able to use high lot sizes okay you'll be able to use high lot sizes okay so now you have a setup that is good it delivers maybe 50 percent uh, win rate or uh, yes win rate okay somebody will say no man 50% is bad no no don't think like that 50% is good remember Peter Brandt I love this guy man he's an old man he has been in the industry for decades now he only has a win rate of 30% meaning out of 100 he's losing 70 and only uh, winning 30 hence he's however he's one of the most profitable guys you'll ever know okay most books record, uh, actually uh, reference him, okay? I've read a lot of books and they reference him. Why? Because he's one of the best in the world. So if a guy with a win rate of 30% is the best in the world, you can see, you can see what this means, okay? He is an algorithm. He doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't matter. This is what I say and most people find it very awkward or rather difficult to grasp wins or losses okay losses mean nothing is this guy crazy did he really say wins and losses mean nothing yes they mean nothing okay they mean nothing you lose remember you're on a logarithm you lose, it's fine. You move on. An algorithm, an algorithm doesn't care about the loss. Okay, it doesn't care. And remember, there are most, or there are many hedge funds that are running their trades through algorithms, not human being, real computer codes. Okay, and we are talking about big hedge funds that actually are highly, highly profitable. Okay, they don't care if their algorithm is losing maybe twenty consecutive uh trades why 
because wins and losses means nothing okay the only thing that means something is your win rate okay so here we spoke about a win rate of 50 peter branded has a win rate of 30 so peter branded doesn't doesn't care if he actually loses 30 in a row okay why because he knows his win rate and he knows that he has a risk reward ratio that is good okay and he actually optimizes sizes in his wins okay that's what you'll be able to do provided you have your a plus setup unless you have an a plus setup you won't be able to use size you can only use size on your a plus something you've really mastered something you're good at and something that has already delivered results something you have learned to trust okay so the only thing that matters the only thing that means something is the win rate and the risk reward okay this is what matters this is what uh, this is what actually uh, makes consistent guys and this is something only professionals understand okay retails are so obsessed with losses to a point whereby if they lose maybe three in a row now they're going to throw that strategy or that setup away it's not working it's not working they are going back buying books they're going back to uh to 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 to, to buying courses they're going back to actually buying signals why because they don't have the right mindset okay don't enter this industry with the wrong mindset it's gonna be very hard because nobody is talking about these things only a few people talk about these things why because it's something the professionals have mastered and remember if there's a stats that says 90 percent of retail guys are actually losing that means who is actually taking the capital it's professional guys hence they not even releasing this information because they find pleasure when people are more concerned about the less important things which are losses and wins losses and wins mean nothing okay once you have a win rate ratio that is actually working for you provided you don't mix emotions okay because emotions can just mess up everything okay and actually what i've learned to or what i've realized is that uh, what hedge funds do is actually they 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 test your they test their uh the traders uh, emotions okay because they know they are winning their win rate okay they know their win rate and they measure the performance to see if the win rate is actually going up or going down say for instance if the win rate goes down say for instance they know that okay this guy has a win rate of 60 percent and okay he keeps this win rate for a year two years three years and then maybe on the fourth year this win rate starts going down maybe to 50 percent you know what they do they actually go uh, and get maybe a consultation or whatsoever it is that will help this guy this guy uh this guy whose uh, win rate has increased has declined to help him work on his psychology why because they've came to realize that the win rate always delivers it always delivers the only thing that can tamper with it is when maybe uh the the trader is now like is going through a lot of stress going through problems is going through whatsoever and now they have to uh, use the emotions okay that's the only time or that's the only thing they do when the win rate of their best guys goes down so they've actually uh mastered the art that okay fine uh, the most important thing now it's the win rate the win rate always delivers okay it always deliver if peter branded is not even concerned about improving his win rate of 30 percent then what do you think i'm talking about a guy who's well known a guy who's one of the profitable and all men who has been in the industry for years actually not years decades okay so you can see that the most important thing now is not uh the results delivered on a day why because you know you have a win rate of sigisti meaning you're gonna win sigisti and lose 40 so it doesn't matter if you lose five consecutively or if you win 10 consecutively okay still 
one thing you know is that you're gonna end up winning Sigesti. So if you lose five, it's fine. It's part of this 40, okay? If you win 10 consecutively, it's good. It's part of the Sigesti, okay? There's still room for losses. Hence, uh, professional guys do not become overconfident, okay? So that's one thing are worth mastering okay i know i'm going through a lot of things but i believe these things are important why because most people are actually not thinking like professionals so obsessed with uh results okay i was like that but honestly i don't care if if today it was a win i don't care if it was a loss okay it's about compounding compounding and it's a win rate and your risk reward that will come in handy over the long uh, the long run, okay? So you can see that this is not as it is portrayed. It's so easy, but with the right mindset. Hence why I said, go and watch this one. This one, because the reason I tempted said for X truth is because uh, people don't start on the right notes, okay? People don't start on the right note. Why? Because they don't get the emotions right. They don't get the basics right. The head and shoulder is not the basic. Okay? The head and shoulder is not the basic. Your setup is not the basic. People are so obsessed in understanding setups, in understanding patterns, in understanding structures. That's not important. Technicals are not important. Okay? They might be maybe contributing 20%. And this is what professional guys have mastered. They don't care about technicals, okay? The best thing you should start with is psychology. Once you get your psychology right and you identify a setup, that's it. The only thing left is to become an logarithm, okay? An logarithm. Take the same thing every day when it presents without fear or being overconfident, Okay, so it means doing one and the same thing. The only challenge or the only hard work you invest is in searching for the setup. If it's not there, it's not there. Okay, you do nothing. Okay, but people, uh, this is very important. I don't know why I'm spending most time on it, but it's important. The fact that you lost 10 in a row doesn't mean your setup is wrong or it's bad or there's something bad or something wrong with your setup. No. It all boils or it will all boil to your win rate. This is the thing that makes the difference. This is the most important thing. Know your win rate, okay? And then once you've identified your win rate and you you do this for a year, then you'll start knowing that wins and losses means nothing, okay? People are spending time on the wrong things. Wins, it doesn't matter if you won. The people keep telling me, do live, do live. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Why? Okay, say for instance, if I do a live and I show you exactly where I take or what I take, you might understand it, but you won't be able to manage it or else you won't be able to take it. How many lives have you seen? Have they improved you? No. Why? Because it's that's... That's something that doesn't matter. You have to get an A+. Plus. An A+, plus is something that works for you personally. And something you understand personally. This is the foundation to build on, okay? This is the foundation. Something you understand. Not something I understand. I have my own setups. I have my own A+, plus setups that I personally understand, okay? They work for me because I understand them. I've mastered them. I've made them my own. Okay. I can see when this is presenting. Okay. Because I have invested enough time into identifying and working on these things. Okay. So lastly, once you get this right, once you start understanding the reality of the industry, then you should enjoy your trading. You search, you hunt. Now you know that your job is to hunt for a setup, okay? Once it's there, take it with no fear or confidence. Take it, okay? And then once you start enjoying, then help others become better. Go and share it with others, okay? Go and share it with others. Remember, the more you share, 
the more we can change our communities. Okay, this is the most important thing. This is the most important thing. This is the reason I'm sharing with everyone here for free. No cost, no nothing. Remember, it's it's at my expense. Okay, it's at my expense. Okay, because now to upload, it's my expense. It's my data. Okay, so. Why am I doing this? Because once you have done this, this is the only thing left. Okay? You can't keep this to yourself. Okay? Because there's a huge misconception out there. The fact that 90% of the guys are losing, it's because of the wrong information. And I'm only sharing this with you because I wish somebody shared this with me when I was starting. It would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of capital as well. Okay? Because I lost a lot, okay? I did all the the the, the uh, emotional errors, okay? All the trading errors that are available. I did them, okay? So, this is something I wish I knew. And this is the most important things. Get your setup. Search for a day. Every day, search for your setup. Take it as an algorithm, okay? Once you once you get good with your setup and comfortable, you'll be able to use size on it, okay? Size. And this will slowly build on your account. Building, compounding, compounding, compounding it. That's the most important thing, okay? Don't feel overconfident when your setup is working for you because there is a random distribution. Important, random. Random distribution, distribution amongst amongst losses don't mind my handwriting and wins okay and wins what does this mean this simply means you don't know which one you are opening will end up as a win and which one will end up as a loss you don't know nobody knows nobody knows okay so you don't take them uh, with overconfidence hence why we're talking in terms of win rate okay Winning Sigisti because you have a 60% win rate. There is room for losses. Why? Because there is an even distribution. Hence I said if you lose 10 it's fine. If you lose 20, uh, 20 consecutively based on your, on, on, your, on, on, on your win rate, it's still fine. Don't be obsessed with wins. Don't be obsessed with losses. Okay? Start being obsessed with the right things. Okay? Compounding. Compounding. Searching for your setup. Okay? And one thing I can guarantee you. Most of you have good setups that are working very well but the problem is you lose three in a row you feel like oh, nonsense this thing doesn't work this thing does no build on your strength okay go and work on that setup okay review it every day the fact that you lost just review it okay and if you are in a logarithm that means you are doing the right thing whenever your setup is presented you are taking it okay that's your job you manage your risk Okay, that's your job as a trader. If you wanted to be part of this industry, then that's your job. Search for your setup. Search for your setup every day. Okay, this is one reason I disagree with those who say you must find one pair, master it. Okay, master one pair. No, 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 no. No, I don't agree with that. I beg to differ. Why? Because if you master one pair, you're going to end up forcing it to give you something it's not ready to give. Okay? That's what you're going to do. Because remember, a pair can give you one opportunity in a week. Or if, uh, let's say if it gives you many opportunities, it might give you two opportunities in one week. So that means in a week you have only two trades. Okay? Will you cope with that? If yes, fine. And remember, there's a time when it will just consolidate and do nothing for maybe a week or two weeks or even three weeks and it hasn't given you anything in three weeks. How are you going to feel? Okay. Once you have a setup, setups appear on each and every pair. They appear on indices. They appear on, 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 on metals. Okay. So master your setup and take it with confidence irrespective of which pair it is. Okay. That's the most important thing. I wanted this video to be less than 20 minutes, okay? But unfortunately, there's just a lot to explain. And my main goal with this video, what I'm trying to achieve is 
to get you to change your mindset. Okay, it's about the mindset. Okay, stop. Thinking about wins and stop thinking about losses. They mean absolutely nothing. Work on your setup. Know your win rate. You know this when you record. Know your win rate, okay? Once you know your win rate, then all the magic will begin. Take it as an logarithm. Take it as an logarithm. Even before you discover your win rate, it's still fine. If that setup has been working for you, go and master it. Go and work on it, okay? Make sure you understand it the way you understand yourself. Make sure you understand it the way you understand your mobile device. If you're a pastor, make sure you understand it the way you understand your Bible. That's important, okay? Because you're going to be taking that setup day in, day out if it presents. If it doesn't present, go out, have some fun, it's fine. Or sleep or watch a movie, whatsoever it is, okay? Or do something different. If your setup is not presented, that's the most important thing. Okay, search for it. There are many currencies. Okay, when you post, people will say, No, 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 uh, no, it, uh, it's easy back testing. We don't see it in lifetime. You don't see it because you're not searching for it. Okay, your job is to search, go through all your currencies, search for it. If you find maybe three of those setup happening on the day, okay, then you can. Just choose one that is set up very, very well. Remember, we say uh, I advise that you should actually have screenshots. You know when it's set up very well. So take the one that is set up very well, okay? Without fear, just like an algorithm. And then enjoy your trading. Easy, okay? And one last thing I want to show you. Uh, one last thing I want to show you, okay? Let's learn from lions. Lions, okay? Lions are the strongest wild animals in the world. They are the str actually, they are the king of the jungle, and they work in unity. You know, if you are strong already and you work in unity, do you know the power you have? Do you know the power you have? Provided uh, you work in unity and you are already the the king of the jungle, do you know the power you have? Okay. Okay. Now, with all the power, okay, with all the fear that animals already have for lions, okay, lions do not try to be smart. If there is a group of antelopes, maybe there's a group of antelopes here, they are drinking water, whatsoever it is, okay, and always remember this example. And maybe we have some, um, maybe even, it doesn't have to be many lions. Maybe we have three lions here, okay? These lions are going to observe these antelopes. And they are going to find one that is either, uh, either young. Young simply means it's vulnerable, okay? Or else they're going to find one that is maybe crippled or it's unable to walk or it's sick okay they are gonna find the simplest in other words lion always target the simplest okay the simplest okay so they will go this means that okay say for instance uh uh the antelope here at the back the lions are here okay and the antelope is here it's at the back of all these other antelopes okay and this one is the crippled one so what lions are gonna do is they are gonna create panic so when there is panic among these antelopes what's gonna happen they each antelope will be going its on okay on its own directions so it doesn't matter if two antelopes come this side okay they are actually coming towards the lions the lions don't care they are not gonna diverge their attention they already have on the crippled one they are strictly gonna target this one they don't care if uh these ones are close or they're coming towards them no they're gonna target this one okay so the same applies to 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 to, to traders you should learn from them okay learn to target the easiest and what is the easiest your setup okay so you hunt for your set up you hunt for your setup okay that's what you do that's the most simplest thing to do okay lions are the strongest but they don't try to use uh their their their, their 
strength or whatsoever okay they are gonna go for this antelope at the end okay so that's what um everybody should be doing and anyway thank you a lot okay uh this is the end thank you a lot okay